unusual to find a restaurant that cares about the farmers, the source of their ingredients. Yeah, and this is one of my favorites, but 20 years ago, Birchwood Cafe stood alone, a neighborhood spot that's become so much more. And that's why this morning, Duresha Eats goes to the Seward neighborhood of Minneapolis to meet the people behind Birchwood Cafe. <laughs> this is quintessential Birchwood Cafe, bustling dining room, lots of laughter. Order up. And so many people ordering this savory waffle. Called classic. It is our number one seller. Yep. Tracy Singleton opened Birchwood Cafe in 1995. Executive chef Marshall Paulson runs her kitchen. When we started, I think we were the only sort of casual counter counter service type of place where you could get the quality of food that we serve. Real good food is more than a slogan. Birchwood carefully selects every supplier, every farmer. I trust the food. I, I trust the practices that they use. I trust how they're treating the soil and the people that work on the farm and whatever animals there might be. And to me, that makes the food taste better. The team here visits those farms. They learn about their more than 500 ingredients. It's organic. It's sustainable. It's delicious. If it wasn't, you know, morally sourced or sourced in a way that we respect or have trust in, then we wouldn't serve it. And if it wasn't delicious, we wouldn't serve it either. So it's absolutely both. And uh, I think they go hand in hand. More waffles. That savory waffle changes with the seasons. Right now it's red onion jam, apple cinnamon butter, bacon lardons, and a sunny side up egg inspired by Marshall's childhood. I would wake up watching real Ghostbusters in the morning and have uh, Eggo waffles with eggs and bacon. The customers are so loyal to Birchwood, they help pay for its expanded kitchen and community room. They begged for a book of recipes, and it's just been published. And then make a circle. The pumpkin hand pie is in the book. Simple ingredients like cream cheese in the crust and turnips in the filling. We mix it up if you want to mix that. Sure, quick. I'll mix. Marshall's pure, clean flavors led him to a gig as a private chef for Woody Harrelson when he was in Minnesota shooting the film Wilson. The actor only eats raw, vegan food. Yeah, it was super great. And Everything about it was awesome, but it was a lot of work. But you don't have to be a celebrity to enjoy Marshall's cooking or Tracy's hospitality. 20 years and counting. I love this. Really lucky. Feel very lucky. I'm hungry. Birchwood Cafe is open until 2 this afternoon. They're still selling pies and cakes and Christmas roasts. They're closed Christmas Day, but back at it this weekend. I've oh. been there before, and I will say that their squash soup is absolutely amazing that waffle the savory waffle I've had that and we all just adore this place. we do their bakery is phenomenal I love to eat their cake for breakfast is what I would recommend <laughs> it's good anytime that anytime you go there that place is packed oh yeah but I, what I love about the way that they kind of move you in and out you order and then they seat you so yeah. you're in and out so quickly and they're yeah. oh, a lot customers. of turnover yeah so as for the Birchwood cookbook you can just get it online we have put a link up on our website just go to WCCO.com